afternoon guys. We've just arrived in Malibu for an Instagram party on the beach. This is pretty exciting. We got the invite the other day. Um, we're about to head in, check this out. We kind of failed by not getting lunch and they don't have any food, do they? Well, there's donuts and fruit. They ran out, apparently they had tacos, but they ran out. Okay, we're Mel with David, Alex and Jonah. We're playing this dunk tank game. Go for it, Alex. Hold my drink, I got this. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! 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 <laughs> Who does this? Do you want to get in there? Alex is going to get Pia. You don't Pia. throw it hard, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, check out this cool dog. Hey! The first one. Yeah. <laughs> Great news, guys. There's food. It's just arrived. We've got tacos over here. And there were some fries on this, like, this wall here, but um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make a veggie taco ASAP. Check out all of this guac. Oh yeah. The party is coming to an end. It's been pretty cool, just been mingling, caught up with a few friends. We're gonna wander back now. We have Grady, Mark, Kane, Pia, Noor, and Wal Walid? Walid. Walid, okay, and we are going to the bus. Um, not everyone here has seen the bus yet. It's been, this week has just been me like showing everyone the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the whole of VidCon every day. I was like, you wanna come see my right bus? There? Yeah, that sure. is the bus over there, so. Oh. No, no, it's just behind the palm trees, behind the palm trees. We managed to find a parking spot. I can't believe we actually found that parking spot. I know! I spotted it as we were coming this way and then I blocked traffic and had to do a, a three-point turn to turn around and come back this way. Come in, welcome to the bus. I call I call this the happiness bus. The happiness bus. Bus is so hard, guys. And we can see how Mark's reaction is. Wow, this is dope. This is oh man. This is, if I could hashtag hipster in one sentence, this is the bus. This is the most hipster bus, yes. isn't it? Look at this. Oh, geez. straight out of IKEA. Wow. This is. What do you think, Pia? It's like a miniature like it's house. Like a little <laughs> country <laughs> little yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go check the bedroom out. Whoa. This is a pretty epic parking spot, isn't it? Literally, step out the door. The ocean's right there. It would be quite nice. Rai was saying if there wasn't like a loud, busy road here, this would be quite a nice spot to park. Go out for on a little uh, stand-up paddleboard, do some surfing. There's a lot of up and down suspension kind of bounce in this bus. Should I be like <laughs> holding on? Uh, I'll try and take it easy. It's way worse than the bed. You can like jump up <laughs> when you're the bed. Okay, we are heading to Santa Monica now. We've got, we've picked up a few, uh, few extras, yeah, a few so stragglers. <laughs> Just hitchhiking. Okay. Let's go. We are back in Venice. We've just checked into our Airbnb and we are walking to one of our favorite places to eat, Takaya. It's just this delicious Mexican place. Do you like my, uh, do you like my Instagram sweater? I love being here. I've just booked Soul Cycle for every day that we're here. And actually, when we uploaded the vlog, when Louis uploaded the vlog of us like looking for houses, there were so many people that were asking why we're moving to LA and why we left Cape Town and all that stuff. And I just can't even express to you how happy we are when we're here. This area in particular yeah. is like the vibe. Like a lot yeah. of, when I first came to LA, I guess. Look at all these cute little houses. Yeah. <laughs> so when I first came to LA and stayed with Sawyer, although I really enjoy staying with Sawyer and meeting a lot of YouTube people, Hollywood wasn't my vibe and I can understand why people wouldn't vibe with that, but Venice Beach. Literally look at this house. Yeah, with check this out. Porch. 
Yeah, the houses are amazing, really cool vibes. It's like definitely the hippie kind of area in LA. I, w I don't even know if I'm in shot right now. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> no, you're pretty, pretty um, okay, so the reason that we want to move to LA, one, the main reason is friends. Like all of our friends are here and we were just at VidCon and whenever we'd meet someone or like get to see someone for 10 minutes, we'd be like, oh, it's so good to see you, quick catch up. And then we leave and don't see them again for like a year. Yeah. But I was saying, oh, once we live here, then when we see people, we can be like, hey, let's actually go to dinner next week and like really get to properly chat and catch up with everyone. Or we can even host people, which yeah. is something we haven't been able to do forever. Yeah. Like having people exactly. over for dinner or just to yeah. come and chill or to play board games. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the dream. So, yeah, friends. Also, it is like the place where so many of the companies are. We have a bunch of meetings and stuff. It's just like the creative hub, I guess, of America. Yeah. So that makes sense. Also, I just think the lifestyle that we have when we're here. Like I just said, I'm going to be working. <laughs> Cut out again. I'm going to be working out every day this week, and we get to eat really healthy. Like Takai is like organic, vegan, Mexican, and. I just feel like we can like live our best lives and it's sunny mm. most of the time and yeah. And I haven't been as good as Raya with <laughs> like getting back on fitness stuff. Like the bike ride I did like a month ago or whatever, or a month and a half or whenever it was, was really good. Like got me excited about fitness. This is a really cool place to get into fitness. Like there's Muscle Beach and there's all the calisthenics, which is like body weight training, which is down at the beach, um, good weather. I'm going to get all, on all of that once we get a place here. I'm going to try and build a bit of routine. Mm. Routine, yeah. I don't like the word routine, but maybe there's a better word that helps me feel more chilled about it. But it <laughs> is quite freeing. Like, I often think routine can be restrictive, but I think it's the opposite. I think yeah. it can help you kind of do the things you actually want to be doing and achieving. Yeah. And Something that you don't even really consider until you don't live anywhere is that if you wake up each morning and you're like, where am I getting my breakfast from? Like, what, you're just trying to make all these little decisions throughout the day when you travel full time, that it takes up your whole day. But if you have a routine and you wake up and you like work out, you know that there's like smoothie stuff in the fridge and all that stuff is kind of sorted, then it means you can actually dream bigger and like work on big projects and just feel like do more with your life. So it would just be an amazing place to like come back, unpack, chill, get healthy and then travel again. I love all the street art in Venice as well. And this is an interesting mural because this is, these are like the canals in Venice. And this is why it's actually named Venice. Did you know it? Because it's like a mini Venice. That does make sense. Yeah. yeah. Obviously the canals are from like Italy, Venice and Italy, so there you go. We're gonna go out on a mission tomorrow and go and do like some photo shooting around the canal area, which should be fun. Look how nice the Venice sign looks. I think this is celebrating Pride. I think it's like Pride Week or something. We have our food. We're gonna ride birds back. See if, oh, oh, no, okay. Oh no. oh no, oh, can you hold this food? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Guys, how nice is this Airbnb? Look at these red fairy lights. Okay, we've got our food. We're watching uh, Liza on Demand, which is her new YouTube original show. This is so freaking tasty. We've walked back down to Abbot Kinney, which is like one block from where we're staying, to this place, Salt and Straw. It's almost 11 p.m. and it's still open. I think it closes at 11, but anyway, this is like an ice cream place. And I think they've got some vegan ice cream, which I'm gonna get. Strawberry coconut sorbet. I'm very, uh, I'm probably not like cooking in a double curd. Oh, yeah. Okay, give it a try. Yeah? I just remembered I'm allergic to strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe this isn't real strawberry. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, no. I'm mildly allergic. I found out, I guess, like a few months ago. I've, it just gave me a tingly feeling in my mouth, so this could be an interesting. <laughs> this is very strawberry. Oh no. It's tasty though. <laughs> it's been a pretty fun day. It's nice to be back in Venice, like we were saying. And uh, yeah, we're gonna spend a few more days here before heading off next week to Egypt. I think that's the plan. I think we're heading to Egypt 
Um, there's a lot of last minute trips happening over the next month and uh, Ryan's never been before. We're going to go with the tourism board and hopefully I'll get to see parts of Egypt I've never been to either. So um, yeah, that's the plan. Um, but yeah, we've got a few more days in LA first and hopefully we'll get to catch up with a few more friends. Right, see you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.